Hi guys, this is Glenn from Fish and Yak. This is the second part of a video series I'm putting together regarding my cameras that I use on my kayak. If you've been lucky enough to see the first video, I tried to answer the two questions. First question was, how many cameras do I have? Second question was, why do I have so many? So on that first video, the answers are there for you. This second part of the video is about the mounts I use how do I mount them and what did I use to make the mounts? Well, first up, uh, one of the mounts that I started off with was this. A piece of PVC pipe, as you can see. It's a metre long, $2.50 from one of your hardware stores. I got this one from uh, Bunnings. I put a cap on the top and I used a GoPro foot mount with the 3M sticky backing. And I also put a sock tapping screw inside there to securely fit that mounting bracket. Painted it gloss black and that fits in behind me in one of my rod holders. Now all up it cost me about eight dollars to make and so instead of going out and buying a hundred and fifty dollar mount this works perfectly as you can see. Fits in the back of the kayak in the rod holder. Now the thing with this is this is a 40 mil pipe. My rod holder is 32 millimeters in diameter so this was too big. How I overcome that is that I put a cut in here and I squeeze the pipe, it condenses the pipe because otherwise this pipe is too, too thick, too fat. So I condense the pipe, fits into the rod holder, perfect. Eight bucks. No need to spend big money. The next two mounts I made are for the front of the kayak. Once again, length of PVC pipe. This time for the GoPro mount, I used a selfie stick. I placed a selfie stick inside the PVC pipe. Away you go, I've got it done. But this time, this pipe was 25 mil and it was too, too small for the rod holder mount. So I had to beef it up a bit with some electrical tape and that made the pipe a few millimetre thicker and it fits really, really well inside the kayak. Fits really, really well. Next one is more PVC pipe. Yes, that's right folks, there's a story here with PVC pipe which I'll get to in a minute. This is for my point and shoot camera as you can see. I can move this up and down for adjustable heights. This again is in front of my in front of me in the kayak, a length of PVC pipe. I brought a one of those cheap tripods from one of those two dollar junky shops and I pulled it all apart and kept the centre leg as you can see there. That fits inside the PVC pipe really nice, really nice and snug, secure. Beefed it up with some PVC tape in the rod holder in the front or in my scupper holes. I also place these two in my scupper holes at the front of my sitting kayak, sit on top kayak, nice and secure once again. Now, PVC pipe, if you're new to this kayak fishing game, get to know PVC pipe because it will become your best friend. It's cheap, it's easy to obtain, you can cut it with a hacksaw, it's very, very very flexible in approach with the PVC pipe. You can get different angles, different elbows, and it's cheap. You don't have to go out and spend big money once again on mounts. You do your own, and these things can be moved around all around your kite, front, back, side. The next mount I made, cost me a little bit of money this one, but it's a, it's a cracker. I wanted to get a, an extendable camera boom and I'm thinking, how am I going to do this without spending big money? 
So I ended up in Bunnings again. I ended up in the paint section. And I picked up one of those painter's rollers, one of the extendable ones. But it was too big, too heavy, too bulky. So I went back home, thought process happening again. And I thought, hmm, BCF might have something. Into BCF I go. Find myself in the boating section. And what do I come across? This. An extendable pole. Extendable. This pole is called a boat hook. It cost me around about $42. It goes from 1.2 metres to 2.1 metres. So I can have that at the side of the kayak like that, that way, at the front. If I need the camera to come a bit closer to me, I'll just bring the handle in close it like that. Perfect, as you can see. As you can see there. Now, I come with a plastic hook, which I cut off. So I lost about probably 10 to 12 centimetres in length, but that doesn't worry me. Then I had to work out how to attach my camera to the top of this pole. Now, if you have a look there, you can see that. That is a rubber chair leg protector. You've got to buy packs of four in, in Bunnings, about $3.80 or something like that. And it fits perfectly over this pipe, as you can see. Fits over the pipe. I put a 6.5 or quarter inch screw through the rubber and screwed on the GoPro tripod, tripod mount. Fantastic little idea this. Try it cost you not much money and you can take that anywhere. It comes with a nice rubber handle already on it. It fits perfectly inside the rod holder and it's just a great mount to use. And you can you can walk around with it like so, have it on the kayak. It's just a fantastic idea. And um, that was one of my uh, one of my good ones actually. Now I put a few GoPro stickers on it just to pretty it up a bit. The next mount I have is a chest mount. This obviously everyone should know what these are. They just wear it like a, put it on like a jacket or like a harness. It sits like that, perfect. It's getting close work like this when I'm unhooking a fish, uh, tying on lures. My viewers of my videos can see what I'm doing. It's right in front of you. You can look down, you can move this. Move it that way, it's got an LCD back this camera, so up so like that. Just works. And uh, you can pick one of these chest mounts up off eBay for around about 20 bucks. Uh, you know, the GoPro one's up around 80 or 90, but it's the same thing, exactly the same thing. The next one I've got is a hat mount, as you can see there. Very easy to do, like so, with the camera mounted on top. Wherever I look, that's where the camera's going. Great mount to use. The camera sits on top, it's perfect. I did try the GoPro uh, headband, but after about five or six hours, by geez, you feel like your head's in a vice. So I had to come up with a better idea. So I hunted around and found this, once again, a GoPro tripod mount with a screw through there. It's not in the line of vision. Works really, really well. Nice and snug, and it's not too heavy. People think they're too heavy. They're not heavy. It's like wearing uh, like a like a wearing a motorcycle helmet. Uh, you get used to you get used to the weight of it, and wherever you look, that's where the camera's going. Last but not least, and I think. One of the best mounts GoPro have ever come up with. In actual fact, I've got another one coming uh, on order. This is, without doubt, I would say the best mount that I own. 
and it's this. A GoPro Gorilla Mount. You can mount that anywhere. On the side of the kayak, like so. It's got the GoPro mount. You can click it to almost anything you want to, you can think of. The table, like so. It comes off. This gorilla grip thing, I call it, comes off here, and you can put your attach your GoPro straight to the handle if you like. But it's, it's really, really hard. It's got a great spring device in it. But that, my friends, if ever you're going to buy mounts for your kayak, for your cameras, this would probably be the first one I suggest you buy. Because that way, you're not using all your other mounts. You can use this mount and you can try different angles because you can just unhook it, go to the next part of your kayak. And this bends in all different directions. It is just a fantastic mount. I would say the best mount that I own. So I strongly suggest if you're into your kayak fishing and you're starting to get into your filming or video or taking selfies, have a look at the Gorilla mount. Uh, GoPro sell them for around about $85, $90 at something like JB Hi-Fi or Harvey Norman. But have a look on eBay. You will see, and this is where I got this one, $23. It's perfect. It's a 50 mil opening, but you can condense the opening by, there's a strap in there. You can pull that tight. So if you want to put it on a, a smaller pole, no problem. A fantastic mount, well worth having a look at. Well, that's it guys. That should explain why I've got the cameras and how do I mount them and how cost effective it can be if you think outside the square and think, mm, do I really need that $150 mount or a $90 mount when you can go to Bunnings, get your PVC pipe and go from there. It's durable, you just wipe them down at the end of the day. So that's it, that's the mounts I use to get all my lovely angles and shots on my kayak. So I hope you've got something out of this, guys. Uh, feel free to like me down below. Uh, you can also contact me on my Facebook page, which is Fish and Yak, F-I-S-H-I-N-Y-A-K. Come over and say hi, and I really appreciate the comments, and fire away any questions that you, you want answered. So until then, I'm Glenn. Thanks for watching.